Clyde, it's a big day this week. Are you wearing a chain, Ted? Well, excuse me. You're wearing a chain. I am. Why? I told you I'm in my fashion era. No, I know you're in your fashion era. Okay. But that would that would that would you know lead someone to assume that you'd be dressing fashionably. I am. A chain, bro. A chain. What's next? You're gonna smoke some. Pot? What do you mean? You're gonna, you're gonna be a druggie. You're uh, gonna be. I already do smoke pot. Uh, um, <gasps> actually, I eat pot. According to my one of my most popular videos of me eating the 400 milligram edible of which you used a fucking massage gun on me while Ted. I was deep in the fucking edible hole. You know what this is like? This is like the second season of Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Please do indulge okay? me on what that means. The main character, Dan, he saves the world in season one. He does it all. He gets all the women and he pulls up in his brand new spanking bicycle with a leather jacket and a fucking chain that runs from his jeans and like loops into something. I, I watched season two, episode one, or maybe even the last episode of season one where he gets this whole new transformation and I started crying. You cr crying? You started yes, crying, crying about it? Is there a fucking animal behind you? Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Hey everybody, welcome to What is going on? Hey, hey everybody, welcome to the uh new episode of Chuckle Sandwich. Uh Oh my god. Oh my god. I had, he got he got no, an no, animal. I, no, I didn't. I didn't you get had an, an animal. animal. No, There's I'm just keeping track of you. one. I'm keeping track keeping of one. Keeping track of one. Yeah, I'm keeping track of it. Okay? I'll introduce you to the animal right now. I'm Ladies and gentlemen, there is a there is a cat right. in Ted. I've never seen this before. I've never seen Ted with an animal. Period. You're wearing camo. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Ted. Were was that camouflage pants, brother? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. This that's is a Zelda. Cute freaking cat. Zelda the cat. Who has stinks a little bit right now. So Who's I'm wondering. Whose cat is that? This is uh this is my my friend's cat that uh they're on a on a business trip thing. Whose kitty cat is that? And uh, Who's kitty cat? yeah, they live like right next to me. So I was like, they found him on the streets. Wow. It's a street cat. Oh, it's like uh, it's like your it's, it's like your other it's feral. Yeah, no, like it's, yeah. Well, no, it, it's it's like spade and all that. But uh, oh, but he he was living on the streets before. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wow. she was she was living on the streets, and uh, I am learning things about what it's like to live with a cat because cat's only with this. The cat's been with me for like two days now. Um, yeah. And I'm learning things on what it's, you know, it's not that much work necessarily. Like I just give it like the kitty pate because it's like three months old. I, I right. give it like the kitty pate and it's, I, you know, fill the bowl, but it's a kitten. So it's like a fucking psychopath. Yeah, man. Dude, when I got Jambo, he was three months. This is taking me back. Now yeah. he's an old fucking sack of shit. Yeah, no, this cat, like, I don't know how big it's going to get, but... Mm. I'll be trying to go to sleep and this yeah. motherfucker will like not be ready to go to sleep itself. And it likes to do this thing where it'll, it'll purr and it'll be like, it follows me around the place. I think the cat likes me a lot. It will follow me all around the place and it'll start mm -hmm. doing this purring thing. I'm like, Oh, you ready to, you want to get pet? Is that the scenario? Nope. Starts biting at me. Starts biting my fingers. Starts, what? starts attacking me and stuff in a playful way. Up. But the cat will like do this thing where I'm like, I'm trying to go to sleep. And it also happens in the morning and I'll be sleeping there and I'll hear the cat purring and I'm like, this isn't like actually a good thing because the cat will come up to me and start like, start biting my chin and like, oh. and like putting his paws on, putting his paws on my face and stuff. And I'm like, dude, what are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to, I'm trying to do some stuff here. And then it'll calm down and it'll like sleep next to me. But dude, yeah, no, street cats, man. be a little bit of a little, little bit of an asshole. But when we, when, when uh, she got the cat, it was like, it was like this big like this big wow. could fit on your shoulder very cute That's and so it didn't cute. know how to walk it was an idiot oh. yeah it was <laughs> Dude, an you idiot. need a cat you need you need an animal i don't know because i've had to take zyrtec every day since this cat's been here and Zer 
Oh, like allergy? Yeah, like allergy shit? meds because I'm allergic yeah. to cats. And and oh, you're allergic to cats. And like my downstairs area of my apartment has just kind of like just got this slight layer dusting across the floor of of, of kitty litter that I have to keep vacuuming up because mm. so. Yeah, it is an adjustment. And if you're allergic to cats, you probably shouldn't have a cat. But then there are those little weird, ugly ones that look like, you know, like a ball sack. Oh, the 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 skin, the I almost said skinless cats. That would have been much worse. The, the That's worse. The, That's a worse version. Yeah, the hairless cats. Yeah, no, those things are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that people, there are, there's a certain breed of person that looks at that cat and they're like, that's the most adorable thing I've seen in my entire life. And it's like, no, what, what is that? I wouldn't that trust a monster. anyone who says that shit. That's a hideous looking animal. How'd they even get, how'd they get rid of the fur on these cats where they come out that way? I don't know. It looks like know. a, it looks like a newborn like gerbil or something, but it stays that way forever. Dude, if I, if I saw one of those fucking things, like if I was driving late at night, and I saw one of those things like crossing the road yeah. in front of my car. I would swerve to hit it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a. I would looks like a skinwalker. Yeah, it's disgusting. You'd, That's a goblin. I would have. I would have not be surprised if that cat would go into the woods and then start speaking in English tongues and being like, yeah. "Help! Help! Help!" to lure yeah. people towards it mm -hmm, so it could kill them. Mm -hmm. Help! Yeah. You're like, what the fuck was that? Help a fully me! grown male? Help me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ted, that. That is adorable. Yeah, no, what he's going on. It, the cat's playing. What are you even doing? It's adorable. Cat's just, just biting, biting at the she's fucking. Just biting your floor. He's just yeah. biting at the carpet right now. It's he's got nothing oh, else going on. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did she that there's nothing on that floor <laughs> right there no, except a little wet spot where she hey, peed. What is that? She pissed on the floor. Tucker, why is Ted just a floating torso? That's a good question. Uh, there's been several times where there's been like pieces of plastic that the cat has been chewing on, and I'm like having flashbacks to all the fuck. Son of a bitch. <laughs> there you go. Bye. Now Tucker's got the best setup out of all of us. I'm just in front of a fucking green screen. Tucker's looking. Dude, dude looks like he's on an episode of Fixer Upper. <laughs> My God, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? He's got a good fucking setup right now. Look at this. Audio listeners love you to death. The my the cat pulled my fucking light thing out, and now I'm I'm sitting in half the half the light that I had before. Um, so I don't know <laughs> what's going on because the cat was like relatively calm and just chilling on the fucking staircase. Because you know how my apartment works, and there's like the cat. Yeah. It's normal place. There's just one floor, so the cat mm -hmm. will mostly just sit right at the top of like my staircase where you can see into the rest of the apartment and just like as a little lookout thing and they spend most yeah. of the day there and then you know obviously i want to show off this show off the fact that i've got a cat running around here and now that it's in here he's going or she's going fucking psycho right now oh because yeah, you locked her in she's locked in with yeah maybe fucking... i should maybe i should give him an option to leave i bet you'll run right out Oh, you got the sex lights on, dude. <laughs> My Fuck hallway yeah, has dude. always been red like this. The sex lights on. Sorry. Yeah. Man, I'm it's really at the, the red I, am, I am at the receiving end of a lot of scrutiny right now, and I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of it. Hold up your hand. Do this. Do this. The other one. Bro, what is dangling off that wrist? What is dangling <laughs> off that wrist? It's just a bracelet. It's the bracelet I You're wore like last Dan. time. You're like Dan from Bakugan, man. And I'm about to start crying because you switched up on me. And Charlie switched up on me. I, it's not even... You know what? You know what's crazy? It's like... What? It's like you, you've you got your thing. You wear your New York hats and your crew necks every day. And all of a sudden, I try to ex experiment a little bit with my style. And I'm actually feeling pretty good about it. And you start trying to lambast me. You change, man. That's I didn't change why. at all. I'm still I'm, me. I've, I've been the same guy... <laughs> And all my friends change on me. Really? Name yeah. more than just yeah. me. Charlie Slimesicle, who takes off his glasses and puts on his contacts and gets all sexy. It's so is this, what is it with this? So am are I you about mad to that I'm next? sexier now? Is that what you're trying am to I tell about me? To am I about to have are a you, nice glow up? Are you am mad? I, 
Let me clarify here. Are you mad that mm. I have I I too have gotten sexier? Charlie, I'll admit, Charlie did it better. I'm not done. I'm in the process right I'm now. Don't nod, Tucker. Don't nod. Done, he's approving. Done it. He's done it a little <laughs> better so far, but there is room for improvement. Okay. There's room for improvement. I see. I see something good in your future. <sighs> Thank you. I I can't imagine, like Charlie also got earrings though. I don't know if I could do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't that's know if a that big change. I don't know if that is is something. Did you that, notice? Do you notice he only got the gay ear too? I don't only think he did the gay ear. I, 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 you know, I feel like we've been we as a society as men have heard of the gay ear for earrings mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unsure if it's ever been true. Yeah, Unsure if gay, that's he got his gay ear pierced. He got his gay ear pierced. Tucker, would you look up for me one. which is ear the ear gay or? Is the he he gay. got his gay ear pierced. I know, but I don't know if that necessarily... Which gay ear is the gay ear? Okay, that's probably the worst way that you could have Google searched it, but it, did it work? Left. Left was straight. Left was straight? He got his straight ear pierced. Okay. I'm wrong. So you, I'm wrong. <laughs> you had a 50% chance of getting pierced. that right, too. I, I did. You, I wanted, did. It was, you <laughs> wanted it to be the gay <laughs> Now, what happens if what happens if you do both? Then you're bi. Fair. F yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. That, fine. That, okay. That, that, that felt a little self-explanatory. I guess it right? I, The right know, one is why. cock and the, the left one is pussy. And <laughs> if you do both, then, I mean, you, the you left, swing both ways. The, the, the left ear is... Wait, the right ear is cock, the left ear is pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a really interesting way to describe that. Um, Let me tell you about something, Ted. What? There is an iron trap door on the top of the Sphinx's head in Egypt. Yeah? An iron trap door. Look up. You ever... You ever Look up the top of the Sphinx's before, head. Well, before we move on to that topic, I do have a question for you about this fashion thing, though. Okay. okay I want to know. I want to know what your. What do you think your development is going to be? What is my glow up? Yeah, gonna be? because I don't think because I'm the only thing I've really done here is just purchased different clothes. Some of the clothes I've also already had that I've been wearing that you've uh -huh. you've judged me on. Right. And yes. but the but really the major difference here is that I've just added a piece of metal around my neck. I into don't. My yeah. Wrist. Look, it's just it's just off putting. You know, and like why? I feel like you're gonna, you feel like you're becoming a, a dirt bag. It's not like crazily different from how I dressed before. Like it's still yes, pants it is. and a shirt. Like yes, it is. No, Way different. it's not. It's Dan it's, from Bakugan. I just don't like no, it. Okay. Okay. I am just not don't like Dan it. from Bakugan, and I feel you know, the more zoom in, zoom in on the top of his head. There's a giant iron trap door on the top of it. Sorry, yeah, here. I'm trying to get a. I, I was trying to hope there was an aerial view. Yeah. I just hope my glow up isn't fucking. God, you know what? It is so fucking busy there in Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of depressing that the pyramids are just in the sea of urban. Yeah. There was a video yeah. I saw. So we're, for, for those listening, we're moving on to this Sphinx thing because last episode, we actually said in the episode before it that we were going to do the Sphinx section. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. did not. We did not. Uh, totally and we forgot. feel bad about that. So we're going to dedicate more time. So mm -hmm. introducing this is Schlatt's Sphinx section. This is where he talks about the Sphinx. For twice as long as I usually will. Okay. Because we have to make up for missing last time. There's mm -hmm. an iron trap door on the top of the Sphinx's head. Tell me what that's all about. I could. I mean, I would have thought that you would have come with more information about the 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 Sphinx here. <laughs> about. Hey, I asked the questions. I know, and but you I have don't, to figure I, it out. I'm I telling you, there's an the iron trap door. Okay. What so, is inside of it? What is the secret door? What is, Tucker, Tucker hold on. Over. Tucker is, that is confirmed. Look at that on screen. Tucker, confirm for me that there's yeah. an iron trap door. It's like a manhole cover. What's it covering? Interesting. Maybe, What's they, it I don't know, covering? maybe they drilled into it to see what was inside, if there was anything. Oh, yeah? So why don't we know what's inside of it? I don't know. I mean, Tucker, go back to the thing you were clicking on earlier because it was like some pretty insane right words there. No, no, on the different photo. Yeah. 
What do you think the evil liars managing human history plan on telling us about the secret <laughs> opening and passageways within the Sphinx into what many channelers, let's go to that Reddit post. There's several uh, of them. R slash alternative the history. Of a menti- oh, this is r slash alternate history. Look at that. Human world and they don't want humanity flourishing. What is this? Riddle of the Sands. Russian <laughs> genius kid born on Mars claims that Egypt's Sphinx I... hold the secret that will change life on Earth forever. Okay, hey. well, if he's born on Mars, what the fuck does he know about Earth? Let's I'm be telling honest. you, I'm t- because the Egyptians don't even know what's in it. What? Because they, they found weren't... the Sphinx. They found it there. Okay. And it used to be a dog, and they mm. drilled into it, and they said, oh, the people can't know about what's inside of it. Its head, which is a chamber, and its body, which is more chambers. And so they they filled it up with iron and put a big old iron trap door in the Why top. Why do you think that there's so many chambers in it? Look up Perring's Hole. They've drilled multiple times into its head. Multiple so you know holes, about the holes in its head. How do you know a name for the hole? How do you know about the They've hole? They've drilled holes into it. <laughs> you made that abundantly clear. They don't clear. tell us what's inside the hole. Perring's hole. Okay, Tucker, read it. Give us some, some information. Oh, look here. at that photo, Tucker. What's he walking? That's a, a removable hole. Yeah. That a is removable a, that, that, hole? You can take that off. Okay. That is a fucking cover. Back up. Can you tell me what the fuck a removable hole looks like, look, Schlatt? I'm telling you, look at this image that Tucker's got right here. That dude walking towards the... He's on top of the Sphinx, and he's walking towards the back of its head. There is a fucking trap door on this thing. Right there, the square? Yes. There's a hole on the back of the Sphinx, about four feet behind the head. It was made by Howard Weiss in the 1840s and has been dubbed Perring's Hole after his engineer. Seeking seeking chambers, Weiss bored, bored a 27 uh, feet deep, but the drill rod became stuck. He tried using gunpowder to remove the rod, but it came up as so there's not further damage to Sphinx. Uh, so exactly what I said earlier what that he was they were looking for chambers when they drilled oh, in so there. you're just gonna you're just gonna believe what he said in the 1800s that there's nothing there i it, oh. you're just gonna believe him i just feel like if they like they found there's chambers in the pyramids like they like they found those of course there are. why would they lie about are. The, why would they lie about the sphinx they don't explore them they're hiding them they're hiding them from us that's what i'm saying that's what, do you what this think segment is, is all about. What do you think is in there? I don't know. Knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. knowledge. Secrets. Secrets? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It'll tell us where the library went. Yeah, yeah no, like I, the Library of Alexandria. The hall, right. of re- the, the hall of Records I, I is what would, it's called. I would be hope, hope it would be kind of like that, that library in Avatar. Oh, that's exactly what I'm picturing. Yeah, I would definitely, and and I'd hope. And there's a fucking would. owl in there. What are you eating? You're eating on dirt. You're working you, right fucking, now. They drilled holes in this thing, <laughs> and they won't tell you what's Dude, in you're them. Acting, you're acting like a crazy uncle right now. I'll tell you that much. You're acting like a crazy uncle. You're eating look a up, sandwich, wearing a New York Sphinx. Yankees hat, yelling about holes in the Sphinx of, in Egypt. Look up Great Sphinx Rump Passage. Rump passage? Rump passage. That, that means bum. It does. It does. Okay. In 1920. You can get in there. Let me read it. Tucker. Tucker. Let me read it. Let me read it. In 1926, the Sphinx was cleared of sand under direction of berets, which revealed an opening to a tunnel at floor level on the north side of the rump. It was con- subsequently closed by masonry, veneer, and nearly forgotten. So what do you think's in the rump, then? Knowledge. <laughs> knowledge is a physical object. Yeah, like, <laughs> like an orb of knowledge, like some, something you eat like a berry. Like it's like a I'm fucking... you this, Ted. You think there's fucking experience orbs floating around, like Minecraft experience orbs floating around they're in that chamber? Us. There's no, they're not telling us. We have the technology to go in here. We can get just a little fucking DJI Mavic 3 Pro and the just drone. send it in there. Yeah. 
couple hundred bucks. Just Tucker's going to look up the drone that. now. We know what the drone is, Tucker. I don't. <laughs> this okay. ain't for they you. Run, <laughs> they Fine. run those. You know those little cameras Tucker's that they put up too. you during a colonoscopy? <laughs> You know when you get a colonoscopy and they, they stick use a this thing on a colonoscopy? No, 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 no. Really I'm just saying brutal. it's, a, it's like be, on a bigger scale. <laughs> that would be gory if they use that on a colonoscopy. That There's a fucked. lot of blades that spinning on fucked. that D, on the DJI Mavic. I'm saying Ted, they they got one of those little fucking colonoscopy cameras and they stuck it into the pyramid, one of the pyramids, and they followed one of the passages and until they found a door. Okay. Oh, Jambo has just turned off my camera. Jambo, okay, I'm back. Jambo really wants what I'm eating. And I'm saying right now, Ted, I'm saying to you right now, they drilled past the door, and what did they find? Knowledge. Another door. Another door. And then the, and then the government is like, no, we can't. I'm sorry, that's where it ends. And we'll never know. Because so, the government of Egypt is concealing knowledge because it drives tourism. What would happen? What would happen if we had some groundbreaking, groundbreaking discovery inside the pyramid or inside the Sphinx and we, we just found out about it and it totally disrupted all these industries and and everything. What do just, you think they would have figured out? It's all about the money. What do you think they would have figured They're out? They're withholding the knowledge <laughs> because of the money. Okay. What money is in withholding knowledge. I'm sorry. Do you think that a company who who sells medicine is going to stop selling medicine? You think that they've got you think that they're going to there's going to be you think something just that's going to change our way of life. For free? No, yes, they, maybe. I feel wasn't maybe. the average lifespan in ancient Egypt like fucking 30 years old? Like were, were, weren't they living to like fucking like 40 like 45 was geriatric? I don't know. No, Tucker, know. look up the average age. It's of just because it's skewed by childhood mortality. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why there were still old people in the Okay, well, what's days. what's the life expectancy? Life expectancy of an ancient Egyptian. Okay, twenty-two Com years okay, for a male. Okay, yeah, twenty-two, <laughs> twenty-two and a half. To you think a bunch of teenagers who are running this show over there? And and women for thirty-five to thirty-seven years, not even forty-five. That's crazy. That's crazy. Some of these people were getting, some of these people would be, have a year and a half of legal drinking age in the U.S. and then they're kicking the butt, the bucket, so Ted, man. you tell me how a society of people who didn't even get to the legal drinking age were stacking that many fucking square blocks into a pyramid of that size. How the fuck did they know how to do that? 18 year olds in this country don't even know how to read anymore. There's knowledge. That's the answer. Knowledge. <laughs> There is knowledge that they had that we no longer possess. You're laughing. You're no, laughing. I'm laughing at the fact of you saying that 18 year olds in this country don't know how to read anymore. Uh, that was the thing that people were talking about in the news, though. They're having a hard like people going through school now are having a hard time figuring out how to read. I don't think they're doing phonics anymore. That's the problem. They're not doing phonics anymore. What the fuck is even phonics? Tucker so doesn't know how to now? read. Tucker doesn't know how to read. Uh, this probably because that's probably why on the Google search he keeps going to the photos because he's like, I, this is, I understand this. <laughs> this is what I understand, <laughs> dude. Because kids these days they're just memorizing the the squiggles and they're yeah. memorizing how that set of squiggles looks and they yeah. can't fucking read anymore. I'm trying to read and the descriptions here time. and Tucker's like, Nah, that looks like math. Hey. Let me look at the pictures. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. There's a subterranean temple under the Sphinx. And they're not telling you. Okay. And there's knowledge in there. And listen, this. Why is the Sphinx head so small? Well, because it was a. You you said we talked about this earlier. You said it was a dog head. It used to be something else. It was something else when they discovered it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I say. Dude, Egyptology. Just saying. You think a bunch of fucking <clears throat> fu kids these days listen to fucking skibbity toilet all day. They have a conniption <laughs> if they can't if they don't go fifteen seconds without seeing Skibbity Toilet that's episode that's, sixty. That's pretty fair. And you think those kids were building the fucking building fucking Sphinx <laughs> they and could pyramids have, back in the they day? They could have been. Well, they you know they were probably directed by at least a a a, a, a wise thirty nine year old or something like that. Dude, you know, they were we, probably directed we, by someone of, of that. I don't know, man. I lost. 
We lost a devastating amount of knowledge. Other than no, other than knowledge, like give me give me just some options of what this knowledge would even be. We can't even comprehend it, dude. King Tut was fucking nineteen years old when he died. We can't even comprehend it, dude. Ugh. Oh, geez, yeah, that's fucked. Wait, that what? Fucked. <laughs> Wait, reveal what? surprises. Oh, he was ugly, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, he wasn't. He wasn't a looker, man. Yeah, no, he was. Uh, he was more uh, of a thinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in. A, he was more. His charm was in his personality. <laughs> Jesus. Well, there you go, Shlat. I mean, you have anything right, else to say about? You, you no, have anything else you want to say? Segment. I mean, well, that how long? The segment. How much? That was at least a full fifteen minutes Egypt section for you. I today. got I got a full two blocks of the Schlatt Sphinx section. <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy. I'm happy. All I want is for us to start asking more questions. I want some more Where concrete dog stuff people? next time, though. I feel like I want. Well, oh, the concrete. You want to talk about the concrete in the pyramids? No, because they're made in sandstone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to talk about the limestone cover? I want to know gold where the, where the dog people went. That was right at the top, made of solid gold, the gold capstone. Well, yeah, of course pyramid. that of course that got taken. It's made of fucking gold, man. Yeah, now Trax NYC has it. What? Oh, you guys don't have them on your feed, dude? Trax NYC. Oh, wh whoever whoever hears that is gonna think it's really, really funny. You guys don't <laughs> I can't believe you don't know Trax NYC. <laughs> I'm sure, Tucker. Yeah, no, I'm sure whoever knows what you're talking about is going to be rolling laughing. This is about you guys that. haven't seen this guy? I've ever seen, no. and I just want to show it to you. It's the year of the dragon. He's in New York. Oh, he like hands out 100 cash. So yeah, I just didn't know my name. He gives people gold on the street. I just didn't know my name. It comes with this little beautiful case. So this is uh, That's pretty brilliant. Really Sorry, it's just, I didn't test know his username off the cuff. silver coin. And then I'm going to pour it. He's um, like a wicked New York coin. city. And what you're going to see is two. Yeah, no, he, this is the guy that hands out. Reactions. He hands out like a piece of silver or something yeah. to people. And half the time people like say no. So when we wipe off this. Yeah, because they just think he's just some New York bum, like, you know, hang, hanging out. Well, yeah, half tapes. the time people are trying to hand you a pamphlet or something. I got a 50 gram, 14K <laughs> yeah. gold nugget no. that I'm going to give away yeah. for free to you. Right, Sir, would you like this gold nugget? Of course not. You're. Anyway, so we've got the gold nugget. Nobody's gonna want it. That's one person. If this guy right here doesn't want it, sir, free. Then um, uh, we'll throw it in the woods. All right, so we're down to three more losers. Sir, a gold nugget. He doesn't want it. Okay, we got one more. Let's see, this guy right here. It's right past it, it's all right. That would've got him in trouble. It's like $2,000 worth of gold. Let's see if this woman right here wants a gold nugget right here, of course not. How about these two? Gold nugget right here, of course not. How about yeah, no, you, a gold not. nugget? Nobody. Nobody this wants is, it. Like, here's Even the thing. Our 2000 He's taking bucks, advantage of, of like, Maybe New, this guy New Yorkers Sarah, trying to get yeah. handed stuff all well, the fucking time. Well, nobody wants it. The scooter's back. The gold Percocet's <laughs> melted. And it's all over. Let's go. Nah, just fuck him. He's lambasting right him. He's not taking my gold it. nugget. Yeah, so that's Trax. Mm. He's in my feed all the time. He's pretty charismatic. Yeah. For, for like, you know, he does the New York thing. Mm. Wow. He does the New York thing. I I'm known to do that. Thing yeah, sometimes I think so. That's well. familiar. That's yeah. familiar with the New York thing. He yeah. does the New York thing all the time. Um, well, we'll move on. We'll move on. The Sphinx section is done. Yeah, I'm the like commenters. The commenters can decide if they want more. I'd like. They can leave a nice comment. Uh, saying hopefully, Shlatt. we dig in there. We, we dig in there and, and go to the Sphinx and like you know maybe we try to maybe the knowledge that's offered in the Sphinx is more information about what's in the sphinx maybe a bit of a bit of a bit of a menu or a I'm guide just saying bro they won't tell us they'll never tell us it's 2024 why the fuck we don't have a high definition explorable map of what the fuck is in those is <laughs> it's it's crazy it's just crazy it's crazy uh. That would suck if they send explorers in there too and they got stuck too have you heard they of don't nutty need putty to cave? they don't need to have you heard yeah. of nutty putty cave I, no, no, I haven't. I'm gonna. This is. This might actually ruin your day a little bit. But okay, Nutty Putty Cave. This is. You know what spelunking is, right? Yeah, I know. I know what spelunking is. Uh, like when people the 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 cave people that like to not well, they don't live in caves, but like they they like going caving, and they they'll be letting out all the air in their chest and squeezing through fucking ten inch spaces. It's 
awful. It's terrifying. I would never want to do that. Well, there's a guy who in, you know, 2009 was in this nutty putty cave and he like, I guess took a wrong turn in the cave and the dude got stuck like head first facing down oh in I've inches look this. look up look up tucker a diagram a nutty putty cave diagram yeah. or or like i have seen this an example of like I what this totally, guy oh, yeah that's bro. that's how he got stuck and that's where he died mm. he died yeah. in that spot all the blood was there? rushing to his head yeah no they 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 closed off the cave and they left a memorial plaque for him there and that's where he yeah. that's that was his grave essentially yeah. they tried Is pulling him there? out and the, and, yeah no he's still there they, they closed off the cave completely it's like a grave now mm. basically fucking <laughs> play stupid games you know do you remember ted in um seventh grade when those miners got stuck and it was like that was in seventh grade the, yeah Oh, oh a few I'm, years I'm, ago. I was no, 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 oh, no, no. We, no, we were, were thinking, thinking about the Elon kids. Musk we and his submarine. That's what you're thinking about. That's in the Malaysian yeah. the Malaysian cave thing. Um No, this was I think it was in Mexico. No, I I remember the miners though. Chil no, Chile. Chilean miners. I remember the mm -hmm. miners. Yeah, there was like 50 of that them, was, wasn't there? Yeah, and it took them like months, I think. Yeah, they were they were like transporting food down to them and stuff. It was yeah. like a whole ordeal. It was a whole ordeal. I do remember that. I do remember that. Why yeah. are we going in caves still? <clears throat> Knowledge, I guess, you know? I mean, that's if if you're going to if you're going to sometimes you need a place to keep the cheese and that's caves true. are <laughs> clearly the best place to put them. Uh so you got to explore all the caves to see where the best spots for cheese is. Uh but yeah, no, not a, not a, <laughs> not a, not a huge fan of 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 the yeah. of the of the <clears throat> cave stuff and it, and it, I don't know. Like if I had to think of a fear I'm not even really like I don't get claustrophobic. Like if I get into a like a smaller space, I'm not like freaking out. But like yeah. imagining being like unable to move, where you can only scooch each way, and that's the only thing you can do. And like, yeah, that's awful. That's like sure horrifying. That's enough to make any rational person say I should go back. Mm hmm. And yet the guy kept going, and to make it even worse, he sealed his fate in a place known no other as Nutty Buddy Cave. <laughs> Nutty Putty Cave. <laughs> Nutty Buddy Cave. Fucking yeah. that sucks. Dude that got really stuck in sucks. Nutty Putty for That's the rest the of his worst. life. That's for the rest the most of his life, and then part of the whole story, all of history. That'd be sick if the if the cave was like called the fucking. The, the death's the, door cave the gates of hell like yeah. what, like if they called it that no bro died Luf in nutty putty lucifer's cave. embrace <laughs> yeah nutty putty oh nutty yeah putty. yeah yeah even though he's dead he should be embarrassed no actually that's is tragic what happened honestly that, that's like but also don't do that don't yeah bro do yeah, that. i mean the the amount he had to go i you'd think he'd be like no I like I go back I go back like where's the satisfaction lie in the whole process that's not tragic I I took it back don't worry okay <laughs> where does this I just want I just wonder where where does the satisfaction lie in that whole ordeal like for the person doing it it's like are they happy while they're they're getting squeezed by the fucking bowels of the earth or is it when they finish and they're like I'm glad I'm free again. Like, why, why are you thinking, like, <laughs> can't wait to do that shit again? Yeah. I I mean, it, it makes you wonder. You know, I, I think some people are just into weird Physical shit. Ex Tucker just looked up why do people spelunk. And uh, for the enjoyment of active activity or for physical exercise. There's better ways to get fit. Look at this guy. He's just. Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, there's a kid. They're they're manipulating children into doing this look at this mm -hmm. guy right there he's just got his hands out something's got him by the leg that's awful that is the terrible audio listeners love you to death person with a red glove had to take their fucking helmet off in order to get get through this little hole thing oh my god that's awful tucker would you ever do this dude you you could not pay me to do it i wouldn't do it for any sum of money i'm glad i'm a fat fuck i i wouldn't even fit in there <laughs> me neither 
if you knew that if you had a 90 percent chance of living what sum of money would you do it for tiger 90 percent chance of living no it's not even about the living or dying dude i would just be so upset a hundred million dollars to go do this yeah deep in the depths of some faraway land it could be honestly it could be in minnesota there's 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 a lot of americans uh, blunking their happens uh, no no i'm not doing a hundred million dollars and you wouldn't do it dude i i really like my life what the heck what the heck's a hundred million gonna do i had a good weekend <laughs> <laughs> well that's a good way to look at it i mean probably probably make you have a really good weekend yeah, but you think about dude, this. I had you a go, bird you, land on my hand, dude. You can't pay for that. <laughs> but think about this. You go, you go, you go shooting at the range. You got your normal, you got your normal guns or whatever. But now you go shooting at the range, and you've got like some, some. You get to shoot some really nice World War II weapons that are, you know, thirty grand yeah. or something to own. But I drop in a bucket. You wouldn't appreciate it. Think about the land and the amount of animals that uh, you yeah, have roaming. That is a. That's the one. That yeah, land, yeah. Dude. Think about this. Imagine you just have like a whole herd of elk that you own, and you've got them it's, all. <laughs> you're tracking all of them, and they live on your thousand acres of land or whatever. Yeah, that is a pretty. It is pretty cool. Yeah, no, it is just pretty cool. Like, and people like, how'd you get? How'd you make your fortune? I I went through this hole in the ground. <laughs> I went, <laughs> I went words, into a cave. Nutty once. putty <laughs> came out on the other side with a lot of cash. I had a I had a particular interested investor in my ability to get through a cave. <laughs> <laughs> he I really could, doubted me. <laughs> <laughs> he really doubted me, and he had a lot. There was a lot on the line. Schlatt, what about you? How much? How much would you? I'm already set for life, so I don't feel the need to walk through anything like that. Also, I'm a fat fuck, so I wouldn't fit. Mm. Yeah, that you know, you, you never see a fat person spelunking. No, that's true. Like, I a, wonder why. None of these guys are watch. even like it's a lanky uh, man sport for I've sure. I probably got fifty pounds on everybody in one of these pictures, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> minimum. So do you think? Why they, is it all? Why is it all just a bunch of twinks in there? What are they doing? Yeah, what they, <laughs> what's the what are the secrets? We gotta of get the to the caves. bottom of why they putting all these twinks in them caves. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get to the bottom grin. of this. This is about, <laughs> this is about as elusive as the Sphinx thing. Honestly, we What's have to figure out why they're sending all these we twinks into the We should just send a fucking twink down the Sphinx's trap door. There's <laughs> there a bunch you go. of them. There's a bunch of ducts in the Sphinx. There is. That's. The, I mean, yeah, you could. We see that kid can't be having a good time. Look at this photo. Well, There's, it's called I, Extreme I, Claustrophobia I, Cave Adventure and camping. camping misadventure. Not only did the cave adventure go wrong, but the camping aspect also seemed to have something went wrong with it as well but audio listen to death there's a kid just like screaming in like the thump you gotta stay on a th on a on the picture i'm talking about Tucker. <laughs> oh sorry well when it's in post it can be kept in one spot yeah i don't it i, I like gotta describe it though I, it, 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 take it away from me uh yeah no he's screaming it, it probably it might be Man, imagine if you're, imagine here with you're the Outdoor the, Boys YouTube channel. Today we're spelunking we're through caves. And my sons today, might die. We're going. Oh caving. well, this guy's a Dude, badass. Wait, <laughs> that is it? <laughs> oh my God! Wait, is that them? It yeah. is. It is Outdoor no Boys. No fucking way! <laughs> and their dad's taking them down. Hop <laughs> in the car. Hop in the car. I'm starving. Why? I actually, actually cannot fucking believe that I. I properly pegged that as an Outdoor Boys camp? YouTube video. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's go You've been in the business dad's, for a while. You've been plan. in the business for a while, Holy so that was that was pretty good. Fuck. Nice job, dude. Wow. Could wow. you imagine? Your dad's like, yeah, get in the cave. I need to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, think about the content, kiddos. Fucking A. Yeah, he seems like a sweet guy, though. I've watched a Fuck couple him. of his videos, and they just seem... They seem, oh yeah, his videos are great. I would, if he didn't seem sweet, it wouldn't work. That oh. is true. Imagine he's, he's just like, like an asshole, and he's just like an ass in the like, cave. Gotta, I'm in the middle of <laughs> I'm in the middle of Alaska. I gotta make a fucking fire. <laughs> oh God, what a sweet individual! What a sweet individual. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that you know, spelunking. Yeah, wouldn't do that myself either. I don't think for no. any amount. It'd just be like, why, why? It's a small. It's like a small person twink thing to do um and it's just not 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 for me yeah chad yeah 
Put this one in your pipe and suck on it. New California bill could require cars to have speed limiter technology. Yeah, I saw this when you sent it in the in the in the topics, and like, I don't think that this is a it's a bill. Like, it's hey. not like it's not a it's not a law. This is about this is like they're talking about it. Bills become laws sometimes. This is your boy, Senator Scott Weiner. Weiner, Democrat, San Francisco. Introduce a new bill. It's already in Europe. The package aims to reduce traffic deaths and injuries statewide. SB 961 would require every passenger vehicle, motor truck, and bus manufacturer sold in the state to be equipped with speed limiter technology. Yeah. That would fucking suck. Mm-hmm. Like, and how would you even, like... That That kind of feels like a similar thing to, like, the car makers requiring you to have, like, fucking a subscription. Like, BMW needs you to have a subscription in order to have heat in your car or something like that. Like... Yeah. A lot of bullshit coming out of the car world these days. Although... Fucked. It's maybe not that bad because this wouldn't technically affect me. <laughs> because That's true. I personally don't drive more than 10 miles per hour over the, over the speed limit. And the speed limiter system would prevent them from going more than 10 miles per hour with the speed limit. So, well, I personally, personally do, 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 do that. How I many do drive? How much over? Frequently over 10. Uh, usually 19, I think is safe. 19, and, you think it's not in, and listen, not in Texas, saying, dude. Like, the I'm Texas cops are like the worst cops of all, too, when it comes to like pulling people over and stuff. It's insane <laughs> over there. But, but don't but. eat after saying but okay thank you <laughs> i just think about like what if there's a what if you're being robbed what if something bad is happening and your car won't go <laughs> yeah like what if it's like the movie 2012 to. and it's like mm -hmm. and there's like some sort of giant tidal wave or something and you really needed yeah. to go 71 but the speed limit was 60 exactly so you can only go 70 that would mm -hmm. suck. And I've and I've been in new cars, dude. I've been in new cars. They try and display what speed limit it is based on your GPS, and half the time it's fucking wrong. Yeah, half the time it's fucking wrong. You imagine there's a there's a road that I'll get on frequently. Uh, it's it's we call it a highway. There's an 80 mile per hour speed limit on it, and and on this road, my vehicle believes that it is a 35 mile per hour zone. Yeah, well, imagine? how would that work? How would that work for like areas where it's like like a dirt road in the middle of nowhere? What does it just get turned off? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. The solution. Good is old just... California is at it again, according <laughs> yeah. to this article that I'm seeing here yeah. from the dude. The Modesto. Dude, the solution. The solution is just to buy an old car, and that's it. Right. Well, no. Hold on. How are they going to enforce this? Yeah, they got to start this, with the cop cars, right? Would this be like really something? They're I, never going to do it to the cop cars. I will say, well, they couldn't because the cop cars need to catch the speeders. Oh, but wait, they can't speed. But if speeding's illegal, they can't speed. They can't oh, speed. Oh yeah. If you're not allowed to do something, and yeah. nobody's possibly able to do it. <laughs> yeah, car chases would really go down a lot too. Yeah, they'd be a lot slower. They would be. Car chase would be a lot slower. Hmm. Drinking and driving would just not even be fun anymore. I will say, I mean, it'd be nice if there was less insanely brutal accidents in California because living in LA, I'll be driving down the highway and like half the time, if you were going to like Orange County or if you were trying to go on like one of the major highways, there's always going to be like at least once a week, some sort of like huge, and I never saw this when I was growing up in, Mass growing up in Massachusetts, a huge buildup of cars and you find and you finally get to where it is and it's like there's three fucking fire engines there at uh, mm -hmm. 70 cops and there and there's a a car that is turned into like it it, it, lo it looks like it went through a compactor at a at a at a, at a junkyard like it's just been d absolutely it's destroyed yeah so i've just never seen accidents like that until i moved out here and i'm like man they drive people drive crazy out here maybe we just do it to californians yeah i guess you're right fuck them 
<laughs> Fuck them, let it happen. What Let's do you think? You guys passed that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you heard about speaking of international drama? Mm. Have you heard about what's going down in oh, the, the world? Civil war that's brewing. <laughs> well, there is that. There is the 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 all like the states sending the nat- their national guards to Texas to. We'll see where that goes. I don't know what's going to happen there. I'm a little bit confused by that. Tucker, what's, what's your professional opinion as a Marine? Dude, I logged on to Twitter like once a day. Like I logged on to say I was streaming last week and it was like trending civil war. And I was like, I should probably take a look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the, those of our listeners out there, if you ever want to check out Tucker, he's got a Twitch stream. Check him out. Yeah, you're goddamn right. <laughs> yeah, that's um, in, the, in the description. You can check it out. But what were you saying, Tucker? But yeah, I saw it. Civil War was trending, and I, I did. I had to do some research because I didn't. You know, if you're not online, you don't know any of this is happening. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You, so you're not aware of like what's going on in your country, the politics of what's going on. Yeah, usually not. To be honest, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? You think you're going to get Nothing. called back? You think they're going to be like, we need you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, I feel like we're just kind of in the need of a little bit, like a little bit of a state, sovereign state versus federal kind of action going on here. You know, we haven't had that in a while. Who would you fight for? Uh, I'd, I'd fight for the Cal, the NCR, man, the New California New Republic. California Republic. <laughs> yeah, Dude, that I'm, sounds like it could be a real thing. Because it's literally just one word off and just new at the beginning. Is it? Is California the California Republic? I mean, that's what it says on the flag. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't look, know. Look at the flag of California. It's got a bear. Where do you think the three-headed bear in the in the New California, the NCR flag comes from? Oh, I, I never knew it's the California Republic. Dude, I lived Terrible there for years, flag. too. Terrible flag. Yeah. Terrible flag. Flag should not have words on it. Yeah. What do you think flag of the Alaska flag? Words. Alaska flag's Uh-oh. pretty good. Alaska flag's sick as fuck. Oh, that and is cool. The bear is sick as fuck, too, but I mean... You, uh, you, you got to be able this. to draw it, you know. Yeah, a lot of them just have I, seals on them and stuff. Yeah, that sucks too. But the, they've been thinking about getting rid of the Massachusetts flag. Mm. Well, they should. It's a little outdated. It's yeah, it, it is. It's, it's, it's a little outdated. outdated. It's, got like it's, a, time. it's got like a fucking <laughs> like it's like an insignia with like a Native American on it and something like, like it's like a Native like giving up. Yeah, yeah. no, it's <laughs> not. It's not good. Also, the fact that Massachusetts is just named after one of the tribe that we kicked out of that area is like kind of fucked up as well. Um, but, uh, speaking of, of kicking and fighting, I, you know, this has been going on for a little bit, but I thought I would mention it because it's, you know, there's been recently some, some, some interesting drama surrounding it, but have you got, i mentioned it before we started the Stanley cups and not the hockey kind I'm talking about. That's what I thought you were talking about at the beginning. Yeah, I know. I, know I was you like, what? You've never talked about hockey. Yet. Like, <laughs> like, I'm just, talking, I want to make a whole topic of the podcast about you. you know, That's they, right. I thought it was it's like, there. Stanley they've Cup. got it. Like, I Have guess you seen the size happening. of this cup that they get if you win? We should go into hockey. <laughs> so there's a cup. Yeah, but if you it's, go back to the like images, the thermos, there was one, right? there's this pink one. There it is. This one, th- these sold out Target travel mugs, they're selling for $200 on eBay. These cups. But, I've, I've seen videos on TikTok of people fighting each other, like Black Friday, Black Friday fighting over these. That's absurd. Yeah, look up, look That's up, absurd. like uh, Stanley, uh, Stanley Cup target fight or something. Well, I want to see these people Black fight. Friday shopping about Why do people ago, want them so much? Fighting to get look at these losers. The limited edition Valentine's Day Stanley Cup. Yeah, it's so lame. That's so fucking H2 lame. It's a limited edition Valentine's Day Stanley Cup. It's still January when we're recording this. Cosmo this, came out th- this came out three it weeks ago. The store's Galentine's collection. They cost about $45 and they're sold out online and across Target stores nationwide reseller. since reseller. their initial launch reseller. on December 3rd. Oh, you think they're all resellers? Do of they course. Do yeah. They light up. What yeah. They do? Yeah. Right. So there, there's <laughs> people are freaking out over these Stanley Cups, dude. And it's like, I think it's, it's slightly connected in with like, they're basically Yeti cups. Like they're, you've got a Yeti, yeah. surely. I'm sure Schlatt's got a Yeti. Yes, we all know I about Yeti. We're, we're we're boys. We know yeah. about the boy product, which is mm-hmm. which is. I mean, the, to be granted, the you know the original Stanley was like the Stanley f- thermos, thermos, right. all that. What you, is that your Stanley cup? It's a knockoff that Emma 
Oh, oh wow. Put down. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to stay hydrated and stuff, but people are doing yeah. like ridiculous stuff to these Stanley I Cups. Like, I, bro, I feel like women get a new cup every year. Oh, yeah. Year before, it was a hydro flask, right? Like, yeah, what is guys, true. just stick to a single fucking water bottle. You can reuse it. this one for it. a decade. And I'll tell you, I have a Stanley Cup. I'll be honest. I've thought about getting one, too. Ted would have one. No, last year it was the gallon jug. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. It was. I had one year, of those gallon jugs. Before it was, a, it was a hydro yeah, flask. Yeah, because Ted follows the girl drink. No, my friend. sister had one, and I was like, I'd oh, love to have one sister. of those. Okay, you got to understand. I was drinking so much water when I had that gallon jug right by my desk. And the only reason I don't have it anymore is because I was taking it with me on the road one day. And I'm an idiot. And I did like the classic put the coffee on top of the car thing except oh, no. it was this gallon gallon of water in this giant plastic thing and so i'm turning out out of my apartment thing mm. falls off i hear a giant crash there's a flood in the road essentially with just plastic bits everywhere so i had to like get out of my car and just like sh sheepishly like just pick up the the shards <laughs> of this giant plastic bottle um but yeah, no, the gallon things were a thing, and then it was, and then it was the the uh, the hydro flasks, and now it's. What are you looking at? You you want to get in that closet, you freak? God. Um, <laughs> Any audio listener might think you're talking to one of us. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, so I I actually have the Stanley one with the uh, straw. There's a little flip up that like connects this straw that sits inside the tumbler. Yeah. The straw is fucking gross. Is it really? Yeah. It gets gross after a couple days. Oh, my God, Jambo. Can you stop, dude? Dude, our cats are fucking stealing the show today. Get off the computer. It's gross. It's hard to clean. Either my dishwasher sucks or I j or the straw itself just sucks because it's fucking gross. These Stanley Cup talkers, it's like all over TikTok and they're doing a bunch of like fucking shit to their their cups. They're putting little snack trays on it. Like they've what? got, look at this. See, she's got a snack tray where she's got like a little, like a handful of popcorn, a handful of cashews, a handful of Doritos, like maybe like, and Ugh. she's just sitting in her bed sipping on it. Like is she sipping on water? Is it just like, I feel like they're putting like soda and stuff in there now. Fucking gross. It's gross. out of control. Top, and you can she fill sounds it with four like different types of your favorite voice. snacks. Tax it's not even secured properly on the cup. It's yeah, sideways. No, it's like, it's Look like at the fucking thing over. That bed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, we should invent the next cup that women go crazy over next year. I mean, I guess the, really the only... The reason why all these cups do really well is just because they... they keep things cold that's usually why i think the personal appeal of this one because i've got like a bunch i've got a yeti or two the the appeal of this one that i can definitely see is the straw aspect because sometimes when i'm drinking from and the handle but sometimes i feel like when i'm drinking from the yeti i'm like it's this big opening and i'm like Arr. i feel like I'm, I'm i'm drinking from like a fucking god yeah exactly i feel like i'm drinking what from a fucking fuck? what the fuck do you need a handle for if Little there's itty bitty a straw, girl hands can't get there's around a straw this. though. What's the handle for? for yeah, like, you gotta understand that. Right? Like, you gotta understand that. Like, you know, the average woman is like four one, so it's like they've got like <laughs> hands the size of like a, a cabbage patch doll. So they can't. They right. need the handle. They need. They yeah, need. If your hand was half the size of mine, this would be kind of hard to get at. Yeah. Yeah. Let's design the next cup. Let's design the next cup, Ted. What is our cup going to have? It's going to have a little self-cleaning straw. Two handles, self-cleaning straw. Two handles? Straw. Yeah, <laughs> like it What's that going to fit in? <clears throat> It'll be towards the top so the cup can still fit in the car. Cup uh -huh. It'll have a little snack tray. A, a Built-in snack saucer. tray. Yeah. Yes, built in, so that you don't need to buy shitty TikTok shop accessories. Uh, made of 100% uh, lead. Yes. 100% uh, lead. It 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 slowly makes you dumber over okay. time. Okay. Can I just say the video that Tucker pulled up for audio listeners love you to death. 
is literally a, just a person with a Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cups are for water. Like they should be for water. This person's dumping a fucking. You think you think Coca-Cola. all those chicks have water in there? No, I don't dude. know what they have. But this Every, person dumped say, a fucking Coca Cola in there, and then it's Doritos, fucking Sour Patch Kids, dude, popcorn me, with M Ms in it, and dude. cookies. Nine out of ten chicks with holding the Stanley Cup, Diet Coke in there. You think Diet so? Coke. Guarantee. Jesus. I bet. I would or bet coffee. money on that. Or coffee. Ice coffee or Diet Coke? Ice coffee. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I don't know. I'm just such a water. I'm such a slut for water these days. I love water. How about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Two chambered (laughs) water bottle. Okay. One, you put water in. And Uh you know how like there's there's some bottles that like, you know, you put whatever kind of thing into the water. It's like a two chamber where it emits like some kind of flavor or like maybe you put a tea bag in there and it makes you tea yeah, over diffuser, time or something like, like a, that. Like a tea diffuser thing? Yeah, some kind of diffuser. But ours is like we fill it up with aspartame. Okay. Slow release aspartame. Slow release. That makes it just like the sweetest, most delicious thing that all the girls That's love. honestly something that they're doing with water talk, if you've heard of water talk. Water talk? Yeah, Curtis did a video on this a little while ago, but basically it's like these people that have, um, they have just a bunch of different flavors, like all those flavors that you see like at a snow cone stand. Um, And they basically are just taking water and then they're like, and they're like seven pumps of of like cherry Ooh, gelato simple or like six pumps of blue raspberry and they're putting that in their waters and then they're drinking it because it's like they can't handle the flavor of you know, normal like water. water and they're simple trying to s- skinny syrup oh so that i guess i guess maybe they they've they've, they're they've aspartame. Got, they got the zero yeah so that literally mm-hmm. that's yeah, what's going is on is there's a whole community of people <laughs> doing that let's just sell aspartame then yeah Let's just bottle it and sell it with a little pump attachment. One we're just, in, so we're just trying to get into the water talk. Of water. We're trying to get into water talk it. community. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. No, it's 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 very intense. Dude. It's very intense. There's also and it, and and it it correlates very heavily with the Stanley Cup fandom as well. Like there's a there's a direct That's crossover. eighty nine percent correlation right there yeah 89 percent correlation also another thing that i've seen these stanley cup people doing is that they will at least i saw this one video that someone was reacting to where somebody like they it's kind of like a like a high fashion thing where they'll they'll you know they'll keep they'll they'll retain the label like they'll they want to keep the label that says like stanley cup 80 ounce tumbler on it so there will be people who will like get it laminated and then get it put it back on so they can be like just in case you forgot ain't just Stanley Cup like wow <laughs> wow dude that's like leaving the fucking new era sticker exactly on the hat, it's on like the, the yeah cap. it's exactly the same okay, thing hey. wow. it's like it's it's essentially equivalent of walking around with like a tat like like with with the fucking like thirty six yeah, off white thirty six long that you keep the tag on on your pants like. <laughs> It's like yeah. walking around like that. It's ridiculous. Mm. So, but look out for the uh, the the newly bottled pump bottle. Yeah, look out for our aspartame, aspartame business. We're gonna be coming out with. It's gonna we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it. Uh, Ch- Chuckle Charlie's. Chuckle Charlie's <laughs> sweet sweet drinky pump. Chuckle juice, man. Chuckle, Chuckle juice. juice. Chuckle juice. I like that. I yeah. like Chuckle juice. Yeah, yeah, I like chuckle juice. That's it. That's it. Bottle it, sell it. It'll be it'll be hitting the TikTok shop. We're gonna pay a bunch of fucking yeah. We're gonna put it on TikTok shop. Yeah, <laughs> and and the ad will will say, uh, "Run, don't walk to your TikTok shop page and buy our little aspartame thing." <laughs> we're gonna have a right. jambo flavor. Talk. We're, yeah, we're gonna jambo make it. Juice. We're gonna make it. We're, oh gonna make, we're gonna make jambo juice, and it's gonna taste like just fucking I don't know, orange creamsicle or something. It better. It's gonna be so good, man. Our aspartame business. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. In the meantime, In the, uh, I'll do more research on on the Sphinx. 
Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Well, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all the time we have for. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk. We'll, we'll, hey, you'll hear us from us next week. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we cook up next week. We'll see what the fuck's going on. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hall of knowledge. Hall of knowledge. Of the that dude. And it's going to be like, we're going to go in there and it's going to be like, it's just going to start saying, put aspartame in water. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the knowledge we're missing out on i want to go yeah all right peace yeah. bye